Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Today I'm out here to try a new rig, a double fluke rig. Let's get it set up. Alright, so here's what we're going to make this rig out of. I got some Zoom Super Flukes. I got some 4 at EWG hooks. And I got some barrel swivels. The first thing I'm going to do is get myself some spare line to make the rig. I need two extra pieces of line. One about one foot, one about two feet. I'm going to put those in my pocket for now, but I will be coming back for them. Now I'm going to tie on a barrel swivel after I loop one onto the line. Thought I dropped one. Now I'm going to tie this one on. Now we have this. Now we take the longer of the two pieces of line. Tie it onto this swivel that's actually tied onto the line. It can get a little tedious working with small things like this, tying small knots, etc. And now on to the end of this one, a 4 out hook. Alright, half of it's done. We're going to put the fluke on this hook. I got smoking shad here. All right, we got our first one on. Now we're going to take that other shorter piece of line and connect it to this free swivel. I don't I see some shad out here, but I don't see anything busting today. Hopefully there's still some fish out here. It rained a couple of days ago and now the water's kind of muddy. It should be starting to clear up though. Now we attach our other for our hook to this line. We want it a little shorter, so I'm going to tie down about right here, halfway up. Now I'm going to put my other fluke on this line. And there we go, two fluke rig. Let's take a few casts and see what it does out there. Fishing with my Ultramax Vengeance combo. My loose speed spool Mark Rose finally gave out. Popping the line on a snag, the anti-reverse just gave up the speed the handle spun backwards and I got a huge bird's nest. There's a big school of shad out there. 
I don't think I can cast that far, but let's see what I can do. I guess I'm just gonna slowly twitch pop it in. Twitch, twitch, wait, twitch, wait. Kind of like a jerk bait, just to see if anything grabs onto one of these flukes. They're gonna go off in their own directions. They're gonna do weird stuff underwater. We'll see if we can get a look at it as I get them closer to the bank. There they are, see them out there crisscrossing and doing all sorts of weird stuff. Looks tasty to me, we'll see what happens. I don't want to work it too fast, I want them to look like they're injured. Give them some time to kind of sink towards the bottom after you twitch them. A lot of fish like to use that opportunity to strike when something just kind of seems like it's dead and fallen to the bottom. Back off this tension a little bit. It's got some weight to it, but you know, it catches a lot of air too because of having two lures on there, so it doesn't really go the furthest. The video I watched to learn about it a little bit, uh, he was using a spinning rod. Looks good. One more cast. I just don't think there's too many fish over here. I don't see anything busting. And I see a good school of shad, nothing chasing them, nothing obvious. All right, I've driven a short ways down the road to this next spot. It might be too early, too cold in the morning. They might be a little more active in the afternoon, I'm not sure. But let's try that double fluke rig anyway. Maybe I can get one over here. I don't see a whole hell of a lot happening over here either. I do see a lot of turtles over there on that log. Let's go try over there in that little weed pocket. fish. Good one. I got to horse him out of there. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. Sweet bass right here. Look at that fat belly gorging on shad. Wow, now that's a nice bass. I haven't caught one this big in a while. Nice and heavy. Got him out there on that double fluke rig. Look at this guy. That's what I'm out here for. Let's wipe off the camera. Nice. I'd say with how gorged he is, it's probably close to two pounds. Beauty. I gotta give him a gentle toss to let him go. Here we go. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Whew. Nice. There it is, double fluke rig. Pretty cool. There's my first bass on a double fluke rig and it was a pretty good one. 
Nice fat bass. Let's keep going. Oh, I thought it was a fish. It is not a fish. Looks like a handle. What the f do I have? What is this? What the f is this? Oh, I gotta go down here for this. I won't get this unhooked. I'm down here trouncing in the weeds. Hooked into a bag of some sort. Let's see what we got here. There is a handle. Sticking out of this bag. Let's let the water drain out. See what I caught. Double fluke rig catches everything. Let's get it unhooked before we check it out. It's hooked in there good. There we go. Sweet. Let's check out my catch. Some kind of bag with trash in it and a, uh, what's this right here? A leech. Check out this leech. Stuck to the handle. Crazy leech. All right, well, let's go throw this shit away. Not exactly sure what's in here. I probably don't want to know. All I know is there's a broom or a something mop or something in here. What the f people? Why the f would anyone throw this in the water? <laughs> you know, I catch a lot of garbage and sh but rarely do I catch a garbage bag with a broom handle hanging out. One nice bass, one nice bag of garbage. What the f Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.